Okay, great. So now we have split our space, our main dungeon space, into little spaces that will represent rooms. But we actually didn't create any rooms. So let's do that. First of all, we need to extract spaces that represents the rooms and not the overall space. So all the children that are childrenless, so to speak. So let's create a list of nodes. And this will be called room spaces equals we will create a new class that is a help, helper class. It will be called structure helper. And we will call on this class. This will be static class traverse graph to extract lowest leaves. And here we will pass our root node. So BSP dot root node. Okay, let's generate this class in a new file. And then let's generate this traverse graph method in this class. Okay, let's open it up. Let's change class signature to be public static. Let's change this method to a public method. And let's change the name root node into a parent node. Great. We need to create a queue of nodes. And it will be called nodes to check. Equals new queue. And a list of nodes. And it will be called list to return. Equals new list. So this method will be a universal method for traverse, traversing our uh, node. So let's create check first to check if our parent children list count equals zero. So if parent node dot children node list dot count equals zero. If so, return new list node and let's pass it our parent as this is the only node that has no children uh, in our check. Okay, if it isn't so, let's create for each loop and for each child in our parent node children node list. And here we will add ch nodes to check and queue child. So we enqueue all the nodes into our queue and while nodes to check uh, dot count is greater than zero we will dequeue the node current node equals nodes to check dequeue and then we will check the same if the current node children list dot count equals zero we add list to return, add our current node, and else we loop for each ch child in the uh, children uh, of our current node. So a child in our current node dot children list and enqueue those children for the further checking. Okay. And at the end of our while loop, we return our list to return. Okay. So this method will allow us to extract all the children as children from the parent node that we provided. And for the first usage, we will just use it to extract all the children that has uh, that represents rooms in our uh, tree like structure so just to clarify now we are extracting the children uh, the lowest nodes that have no children so eight nine five six and seven will be extracted as the nodes that represent our rooms okay so let's get back to dungeon generator now we should have room spaces list 
Now we need to create rooms in those spaces. So let's create a new class called Room Generator. And let's call it Room Generator equals new Room Generator. And here we'll pass max iterations min a room min length and room min width okay let's generate this class in a new file and let's generate this constructor in a, a room generator okay and we will also want to call a list a create list of nodes or room nodes because it will generate rooms and let's call it room list equals room generator and call generate rooms in a given space in given spaces and let's pass the room spaces list here okay and let's generate this method as well in the room generator and now we can open the room generator okay so let's change this class to be public and this list uh, this ro generate rooms in given spaces also public okay so here we will loop through each of the spaces and generate rooms inside of them so choose the appropriate corners so let's create a list of room nodes it will be list to return equals new list of room nodes and here we will loop for each our space in list of spaces or room spaces okay and first thing we need to create new corners so let's create vector 2 int we need to be using unity engine new bottom left point equals structure helper and we will call generate bottom left corner between okay and in this method we will pass our space dot bottom left area corner space top right area corner and we'll pass some parameters point one f and one and i will explain what those parameters are let's generate this method in the structure structure helper let's save let's go to structure helper okay first of all let's change it to public and second of all we have those parameters that we have passed in points are the boundaries of our space and then we have those this float value we call it point modifier uh, and this uh, we will use because uh, we don't want to take the uh, whole space of the uh, available space uh, we want to have the rooms of different size so we say that uh, we pass here point one and we tell our algorithm to take bottom left area corner x value and add to it point one times the width of our room and uh, randomly choose the value between zero and the point one times the width of our room and add it to our x value so we will create different room sizes uh, for each room to add, add to the randomness of the uh, effect that we have and the second one the second parameter will be offset uh, we are using integer values because every result that we get is an integer value so we have easier time of placing our walls and our objects inside our rooms and this offset basically will tell us that from the start our width is uh, subtracted by uh, 2 times the offset 
so we don't have the whole space to use we always use the offset so we can have a distance between walls for example but you can set it to zero and have the walls uh, dividing both rooms instead of having two walls for uh, each space okay so here we will first calculate the maximum and minimum uh, y and x values so let's call int max x uh, min x equals boundary and let's change the the point names to be more clear so the first is boundary left point and the second will be boundary right point okay so first of all we take boundary left point dot x plus offset int max x equals boundary right point dot x minus the offset okay and we also need our uh, y values i think we are missing the comma here so int int min y equals boundary left point dot y plus offset and int max y equals boundary right dot y minus the offset okay so this is th those are our max and min values for our uh, room that it can uh, take as its corner points uh, values and let's return new vector to int and it will create a random dot range and let's be using random equals using uh, equals unity engine dot random okay and first value for our random value will be our min x and the second value will be int a cast to int and uh, in the brackets we will call our min x plus our width so max x minus min x times our point modifier okay so this is our first value uh, for x and let's create another random value for y and here we'll pass min y as the lowest uh, value and cast to int and here in this as the second parameter so the max value will pass min y plus our uh, i think it's called length i might have mistakenly called it with before so the length times the point modifier okay so this is our new point for the left uh, for the bottom left corner of our uh, new room and we need the same method for creating the right corner so let's copy this because we will use the same min and max boundary values and we will just change the pointer modifier offset will stay the same so let's change it to generate top right the corner and here we will need to change those two random values so let's delete those two to know what we are changing in our copied statement okay and now as the minimum value we'll pass the random dot range and first we will pass int and min x value plus our max x minus min x so this is the width times point modifier and here we will create a new point modifier that is like point 0.9 
and this will give us the minimum value between the boundary maximum values minus offset and minus 10 percent of the uh, width and i i am sure that you can implement it a little bit differently a little bit more clean i have implemented this way so this is the first value and the second value is max x and the second value for y it will be the same story we cast it as int and we make a min y value add to it our width max y minus min y times our point modifier and as the second parameter we pass max y to generate the point uh, that is maximum uh, on y value between 90% uh, and the max value okay and we need another uh, the ending base here and we should be good to go okay we have misplaced a brace an ending brace i think now it should work and i have added too many random range statements so let's delete this thing okay now we should be good to go